Getting hurt is inevitable, especially in relationships, and relationships have become way more complicated these days. You have to be vigilant, prayerful, and not ignore God's signs. Yes, the heart wants what it wants. This doesn't mean that you should ignore God's sign when He is trying to tell you something about your partner. We should know that God created every single person on this earth, so He knows who is perfect for you. And if He doesn't make your relationship with someone work out, no matter how much you prayed, then He is only trying to protect you from getting hurt. It is not like God doesn't want you to get married or be in a relationship. He is only looking out for you, and He makes everything perfect in His own time. God has a plan for you, and His plan is perfect. God will not stop your relationship for nothing. He stops certain things from happening in our lives because He loves and cares for us. When God is trying to protect you from getting hurt by someone, you should watch out for these five signs. Number one, quick ending. When God is trying to protect you from getting hurt, your relationship ends quickly. Ephesians chapter four, verse twenty-seven. And give no opportunity to the devil. Most times, the person you have been talking to suddenly ghosts, or when you are about to get married to someone, you begin to get cold feet. You start having doubts, and you do not have peace about the relationship. When someone suddenly ghosts you, do not think too much about it. Yes, it hurts when someone you were getting along with suddenly goes MIA without any reasonable explanation. And when this happens, you do not even know what to think because you do not know what you did wrong or what went wrong. But when this happens to you, do not stay weak. Rather, rejoice because God is only looking out for you. God is only trying to protect you from getting hurt and ending up with the wrong one. So, do not let anyone put you under pressure to settle down with someone. When the time is right, God will send the perfect person for you. Number two, sometimes God allows some things to happen to us so that we can learn from them. When God intentionally allows some unpleasant things to happen to you, do not think God doesn't love you. He only wants you to learn from past experiences to avoid future hurt. Experience, they say, is the best teacher. So if you've been hurt by someone in the past, you know what signs to look out for now to avoid getting hurt again. This doesn't guarantee that you wouldn't get hurt again, but with God's direction and instructions, you will definitely not get hurt again. Psalm chapter 37, verse 23 to 24. The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in Him. Though he may stumble, he will not fail, for the Lord upholds him with His hand. Number three, God protects you through His words. The word of God keeps you safe. That is why we must stand on His words and follow His instructions. We must spend time in the presence of God. Spend time studying His word so that we will know when God is speaking to us. Psalm chapter 119, verse 89 to 91. Your word, Lord, is eternal. It stands firm in the heavens. Your generations, you establish the earth, and it endures. Your laws endure to this day, for all things serve you. When you stand on God's word, you will understand that his timing is different from ours. So if he doesn't make your relationship with someone work out, you should understand that he has a plan. When you stand on his word, you do not expect too much from people. When people offend you, you learn to forgive them because he commanded us to do so. And you understand that when people hurt you, God will vindicate you at the end of the day. Number four, God will try to protect you from getting hurt by someone by making you aware of people's experiences. It could be a close friend, a testimony, or a random post you see on social media. When you hear these other people's experiences, you can take it as a hint of what God is trying to tell you about that person. Proverbs chapter 27, verse 6. Wounds from sincere friends are better than many kisses from an enemy. Number five, God will expose the truth about that person. When God is trying to protect you from getting hurt by someone, he exposes the truth about that person. God will expose the bad habits and infidelities and everything that is hidden in the dark will come to light and he will begin exposing them. These truths are what we call red flags today. 
Please do not ignore red flags when God shows them to you. When someone keeps a big secret from you for many years, for example, your partner has a child but has kept it a secret from you for a long time until you found out, or your partner cheated on you and you found out or anything, just know that God will expose the truth about that person. Yes, you will be hurt initially, but it is better to break things off than marry someone who will keep hurting you. Love has made so many people blinded to these red flags, even when they see them and they know that God is talking to them. They intentionally ignore because they feel that they cannot live without that person. If you are finding it difficult to let go of someone regardless of the red flags that God has shown you, it is time for you to commit that situation into God's hands because it is only Him that can help you. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 21 And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it, when ye turn to the right hand, and when ye turn to the left.